You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So y'all want to learn how to hit high notes, huh? I bet. Tip number one, direct your airstream to the center of the mouthpiece. It's like blowing out a candle from the other side of the room, or like gently throwing a paper airplane. A common misconception is that we have to play with more air in order to play higher. Nope. Fuck to me. Lots of air and faster air are different. It's more about the technique, but y'all know it has to be something else. Brass players only have three valves and seven combinations. Like this video if you think it's more about the tongue, or like this video if you think it's more about the jaw position or the aperture position. Okay, try to whistle. And as you start from low to high, your tongue should raise in the back. Say e o e o e. You see how as the tongue raises, the pitch changes, but the air amount stays the same. Let's talk about mouth placement and mouth shape. So for the low pitch, it's gonna be one uh, shape. For mid range and for high range, it's gonna be all different things. Playing a low register, I would picture playing a tennis ball or an apple in your mouth. For mid-range, it's a little bit smaller, something similar to like a strawberry, something like that. <clears throat> Have a little bit of space between your teeth. And then uh, high range, it should be uh, something like a blueberry. This tip of your pinky in your teeth. Close your teeth around your pinky and then close your lips around that. That's how small it should be. A little bit of gap um, between your teeth and the high range. But also just focus on that, uh, that tongue arch. Mainly. I've always been taught smaller hole, faster air to hit higher notes. And this is true. You have to focus on individual notes and how your your mouth is and how your jaw is and how fast the airstream or the acceleration is for individual notes so you can make sure that you have um, that rubric so you can be able to gain that muscle memory over time you know as you keep practicing the same thing over and over again and just relax man hear the note in your head before you actually play um high notes that will dramatically in, uh, increase the percentage of you actually hitting those particular high notes so just keep that in mind
watched that shit before. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So, doing long tones as, you know, growing up, that shit was boring. Let's be real. Let's be quite honest. You know what I'm saying? That was that was boring. I was thinking, what if we play a song instead of playing long tones? Something, you know, real elongated, something to replace uh, long tones, basically. And what you would do is you would play these songs before practice starts, you know, in like a individual sectional type of thing. Most band heads are definitely going to recognize this song. It's called Shenandoah. You would play this song if anybody had trouble hitting like E flats or Fs, right? Now, if your section has trouble hitting Fs, Gs, or As, then I suggest that y'all play this song, uh, The Lord's Prayer. And it's uh, something really done by um, a tuba euphonium choir, and I'm gonna put that up right now. that's a good warm-up tactic that y'all can do especially if that particular day y'all gonna play a song that has a lot of uh fgs or a's in it high fgs or a's and that like i said this is replacing the long tones now another thing if you about to play songs where you about to hit like, some high b flats or maybe some high c's or something like that then uh, I suggest you play this other song and this is going to be part of a solo. This is part of something that I did for my senior recital. And like I said, this is all replacing the long tones um, as a whole section. And if anybody's trying to get your high B flats, high C's, D's, or maybe even a high E flats, um, under control and uh, but you can play this song and that'll definitely get you where you need to go this song is entitled Freya it's the second movement to Teotonic Tales uh, to us all. So don't take your ass around there and uh, try to hit them high B flats now. And you ain't did none of these warm-ups and those long tones now. I done tried to told you. I done tried to told you. You gonna, me you gonna mess it up now. I know y'all wondering. I know y'all wondering. What the hell is this band for? 
Well, if your section, if you want to play highs like this uh, for a tuba section or for any other section, uh, I'm kind of using this as an example, but I have a warm up that y'all can do that's kind of like a, uh, a fast way on how to achieve this particular goal on how to play high. However, disclaimer, I'm just trying to let y'all know that uh, this is a this is a fast way, but it's not the most efficient way. It'll get you where you need to go, but for a long time, for longevity, I don't think that it's um, very beneficial. You know what I'm saying? To make sure that you can hit it every time. But if you're trying to smash some shit for that particular day, or maybe even the next day, then I think that this this uh, warm up can definitely help with that. No, but I ain't trying to do y'all. This is uh, this is basically just kind of trying to get sections to um, on how to play higher. This is just a little technique section leaders. Make sure y'all paying attention. You're gonna have to incorporate both of them, not just uh, this particular technique or this particular this particular warm up. You're gonna have to do the actual long tones uh, in order to be able to sustain it, to to be able to have the embouchure strength to play it whenever you want to. This is, right here is something on uh, some more fast paced stuff, you know, but this is something that HBCUs, uh, some sex leaders do, you know, to get their sections uh, on point, you know what I'm saying? And I'm happy I'm able to provide this type of content on this particular channel. And uh, if y'all like it, then, uh, Man, y'all gonna keep rocking with me. And if not, then just place a comment below. You know what I'm saying? We could try to change it up or whatever. Y'all see how the whole, this whole video is, is different. Like, I ain't seen my face not one time. Not really. You know what I'm saying? Um, kind of doing the, the voiceover thing. So let me know if y'all like this. Y'all like, you know, let me know if y'all like this or not or whatever. I'm just trying something different. I'm just trying something new so we can... So we can just keep progressing as a channel. We can keep progressing as a family. So uh, just uh, just stay tuned for the next video. Let me know in the comment section again uh, if y'all like this type of content. And uh, let me know what y'all want to know next. You know what I'm saying? I'm really thinking about trying to do a video on hitting lows. But I don't even know if y'all want that or not. So just let me know. Peace.